Hey Nubbins, Syrup here from TGN.TV, bringing you guys some news about the new class in Myths of Pandaria. This is the Monk class. Um, the picture on their web website, website shows um, a Pandarian as the Monk. And basically the Monk is going to be a hybrid class to the maximum. Almost like a Druid, except it has different stances, but we'll talk about that later. First things first, we're gonna go down to the basics. The monk wears cloth and leather armor, and it will mostly use bare fist attacks, except for its finishing moves, it will mainly use staves or fist weapons. Which is cool because I like the looks of staves and fist weapons, but really no class uses fist weapons that much except for a combat rogue, and I think staves are pretty rare. I think druids and maybe hunters? No, hunters use pole arms. I don't really know. But very cool to see some new weapons actually being used instead of just the basic daggers and axes. Like that idea. It can also use one handed swords and axes if it wants to, but staves and fist weapons are going to be kind of pushed. Now, the resource for this champion, uh, resource being like mana, is going to be what's called chi. Now, when you're using Chi, it kind of regenerates like energy, except you use Chi to use both Jab, which can generate light or dark force, which is used for either finishing moves if you're DPS, or kind of hardcore heals if you're healing. So you could think of it as a hybrid between the rogue combo points and the druid balance. We are trying to go back and forth between them, is what people are saying as well as kind of having ups and downs. So you'll have peaks of healing if you want. You can go down to kind of a low amount of healing and then peak again. Or you'll have almost waves of DPS, like an arcane mage. But there are, like I said, DPS healing and <clears throat> tanking specs, excuse me. The tanking spec is called the Brewmaster spec. Not much has really been talked about this yet. People are guessing it's gonna be using a combination of the dark and light force, so go bouncing back and forth between them. And I think I already mentioned this, but there's no auto attacking with any spec. You're gonna be using only abilities, so expect high damage, big crits. It'll be pretty amazing, to be honest with you guys. Um, also, there's gonna be stances. So you could almost think like a druid, I suppose, with their different forms, except it'll be more warrior-ish, where you can easily change stances provided the situation rather than just what your talents are. Also, talents are being completely redone. I might do a video on this. If not, I'll just link you to another video or to the news release, something like that. Now, the healing spec is pretty interesting. They wanted to completely throw away what they did with the healing spec before. And what this one is called is the Mist, Wa Mist Weaver excuse me, spec. And it's not like any other healing style they have right now, at least that's what they're saying. They want it to be more durable within battle so you can put out damage if you want to, like with the dark and light force. And they also want it to be less boring, they don't want people just to sit in the same place pressing, you know, raid heals or just buffing people. They want you to have a more active role in what's going on so you can easily switch between DPSing or healing if you have to. And the goal with that is to make it less boring. They're also trying to do the same thing with the Brewmaster spec, like I said, switching back between the light and the dark force to maximize whatever you're doing. Because they notice that people always like going for the DPS. If you've ever been queuing for a heroic, you know that tanks get insta queues and DPS have to wait for about a good, depending on your server, around 5 to 15 minutes usually. And they want to get away with that, make every class fun. Like I said, everyone's going to get big numbers, especially with this monk spec. So you don't have to go DPS for the fun. Now, speaking of DPS, the Windwalker is a melee DPS style. <clears throat> its main ability, like I said, is jab, which generates light and dark force. And they haven't really talked about that much about it yet. Um, they don't want anyone to be able to use a shield except for the tanking spec. So the healer is going to get an offhand weapon, and the DPS spec will only use the staves and the fist weapons, like I said before. Um, 
It said what classes could be the available races, and I'll just name these off really quick. For the Alliance, you can either be a Pandaren, which can be both an Alliance and a Horde race, which is pretty cool, but I'm going to talk about that later <clears throat> in a different video, I should say. Anyway, for the Alliance, you can be a Dwarf, a Human, Draene, a Gnome, or a Night Elf. And as the Horde, you can be a Forsaken, a Tauren, a Troll, and an Orc. So, it's one of those highly available classes, if you want to think of it that way. Anyways, guys, that's all the news I have for you today on Monks. I will be seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in.